friends, today is the second anniversary of the murder of Mr. George Floyd by a Minneapolis police officer. And yesterday I recorded a message about that to be played today. And as soon as I finished recording that message, word came to all of us about the mass shooting in Texas where now 19 fourth graders, nobody fourth graders, have died and two of their teachers plus the gunman. And it took my breath and everyone here on our staff took all of our breath away as I know it took yours away. And, and I thought to myself, my God, it's only been six months since our four young people in Oxford were murdered. It's only been 11 days since the people were gunned down, the black people were gunned down in the Buffalo supermarket. And I thought to myself, this is crazy. And I, I, and I friends, I, do, I no longer see these random acts of violence as, as just coincidence or, or one-off acting with done perpetuated by bad actors. Instead, friends, I'm beginning to see some links. And I, and I think what I'm seeing is an unholy alliance between racism and ready access to lethal weapons for pretty much just about anyone. And this can no longer go on. We need to begin, as people of faith, to take action to stop these sins. And so my question to all of you, as we think about the people whose lives have been lost, I wonder, friends, what are you doing today to address systemic racism. Because as long as it remains, and people, those of us who happen to be white, acquiesce to it or ignore it, it will continue to perpetuate itself and escalate in cycles of violence. So what, what are you, what am I going to do today to begin to end systemic racism? And friends, what are you going to do what am I going to do today to begin to limit and corral the ready access to lethal firearms in this country? What are we going to do about this? Friends, that, our actions, our thoughts about these two issues, this is where my prayer is. And I want our prayers to be fused with action. Because if we don't start today, it will never end. And I, I cannot take much more sadness. Join with me. Let us pray. Let us act. Thank you.